so the project is staged into five phases, uh, more or less. And basically, we're starting phase one as early as uh, the first week of March is when we should start to see some mobilization to the site and some signage going up. Um, we still have to ratify the actual contract at council, uh, district council at their upcoming meeting. Um, I think it's February 16th, the day after family day. So once that's uh, official go ahead, um, we can issue the letter of award. Traffic, um, detours, um, you know, routing maps, that type of stuff is all available on the Engage site. Primarily this phase is looking at what we'll call an active construction zone from the north side of the, the swing bridge uh, into the downtown core to approximately the intersection at Brunel and, and Main Street. And there'll be a section of River Road uh, that's occupied as well. We're doing some water and sewer work in there uh, as part of this contract. So that's the active construction zone. Uh, there'll be a passive construction zone, what we're calling it, which allows the contractor, the, the space is tight down there. So we had to give them an area to put some material equipment, that type of stuff. So they're going to occupy the lanes uh, further into the downtown core, but the sidewalks will remain completely accessible the whole way through. Um, that active construction zone will be basically storefront to storefront because they'll be removing sidewalks, that type of thing. So we'll maintain access as much as possible, but they will be doing active work on the sidewalk. They've currently got uh, a start date or a mobilization start of March 3rd. So you should see equipment and they'll start to ramp up with, you know, they'll slowly mobilize to the site, uh, get more and more equipment. You'll see fencing going up to delineate the construction zone. Uh, you'll also see uh, their signage start to get installed. Um, and then once that's in place, uh, primarily the first thing uh, that's on their list is basically removal of the asphalt. Uh, we're looking at removals uh, for, for, you know, to, to put it simply, they're going to be taking out, you know, some of the, the, the signals, the, the street lights, curb and gutter, um, asphalt, that type of stuff before they get, they, they may even start excavating into the actual road base uh, and prep for the storm sewer install, which is first on their list uh, because it's the deepest uh, of the utilities out there. So they want to get at that first because it requires the most excavation. Basically, once that's in place, they can back up and install the other uh, utilities. The initial stages aren't going to be that exciting because it's all stuff you won't really see. So all the exciting stuff is uh, not going to be seen right up front, um, but we're getting that core infrastructure work done. Uh, I guess the, the top dressing that, that you know everyone's excited about will be towards the later stages of the project. They will be doing some of the excavation for what are called silva cells, which are those large tree cells. That, so, you know, we can get those nice big trees through the downtown core, but... Um, it, it won't be very exciting to start, I guess you could say, because a lot of it's just earthworks. The way we've set this contract up is it's phased into five different sections. Each one has its own performance date. So we expect each phase to be uh, finished at a certain time. And what that means is it's finished to basically um, base course of asphalt and then any of, you know, kind of the sidewalks are poured and that type of stuff. So um, it'll slowly move through. I think this, this phase that they're on now is scheduled for uh, end of May completion. And then we move, you know, almost monthly through the next five ones. And then there's a winter shutdown. Um, you know, we, we want to get them started as early as possible on this one and have them work as late as possible into the year to get as much done as they can. Um, and, you know, currently the schedule and in a perfect world, we're, we're seeing a top lift of asphalt go in um, ideally before the May long weekend next year. Um, as mentioned, want to know what is happening um, with the support for businesses downtown with this uh, with this construction period. Uh, we know that it's going to be uh, you know really uprooting a lot of the um, pedestrian and and driving routes downtown. And, and I understand there's a there's a campaign going on uh, right now to help support these businesses. So tell me a bit about it. Yeah, so today today was a big day. We launched our our streetscape branded campaign. Um, Diggin' Downtown Huntsville. So we worked with uh, different stakeholders, including the town of Huntsville and the district of Muskoka, um, to brand this project in a fun and innovative way. So we, we actually worked with a BIA member, uh, Ben Cox at Revel Design, to give us a fun and interactive um, brand uh, that we can use throughout the project. And um, you'll notice um, if you if you see the brand that it's a bright purple and we went with a, a very distinctive um, 
image and, and vision uh, to make this project as fun as it can be uh, in terms of communication. And then all of the fun incentives that we're working on will all streamline with this digging downtown and we're digging it, we're having fun. Um, so we're really excited that we, we, we launched it today and we're, we're looking forward to just continuing with, with this um, communication strategy with digging downtown. So Morgan, um, I know, you know, this is probably a developing project for you guys, but uh, what are some of the things we can expect right now from the Diggin' Downtown initiative? Yeah, so, so right now Diggin', Diggin' Downtown has a live website which hosts all of our information. It's, it's through the town of Huntsville. So huntsville.ca slash Diggin' Downtown. Um, so we will filter all of our information through that website. Um, everything from parking and detours for our residents and our tourists, but also for our businesses. So we have a page there uh, for business support, and that outlines different details such as garbage, um, garbage collection and deliveries, um, because we can we can only imagine the the ongoing fluid plan. Uh, so this this website will host all of the the technical information in terms of like detours and garbage and what to expect, but it will also host um, a lot of different initiatives that we are working on currently. And in the, the next couple of weeks, we're going to continue launching different um, street initiatives to always encourage people to come downtown and support our local merchants. Uh, so some of those those initiatives include a downtown dollar streetscape voucher. Uh, so we want to to focus exclusively exclusively with our downtown businesses and give them as much support as we can. So we're working on a a voucher that can be spent anywhere downtown. So very similar to our our downtown dollars, um, but we're hoping to give away over twenty thousand um, dollars in terms of vouchers to be used downtown for the the construction period until the end of fall. We're also working on a digital coupon booklet. So this will have rotating coupons uh, from our merchants and different offerings. It will all be hosted online so it can be fluid and different merchants can do uh, what they wish and update these coupons as they as they see fit. Um, we're working on a lot of different street um, initiatives that are COVID friendly, um, but also once you're downtown, we want you to, to enjoy the construction as much as possible. So we're working with the Chamber and the Huntsville Festival of the Arts uh, to do a lot of public art and murals, uh, similar to what Dan did with the canoes outside Town Hall this past year. And um, what else are we doing? We're working on a lot of different um, initiatives. The community time capsule, which I'm, I'm really excited about. We're working on the details of, of how to bring our merchants downtown and our community together to, to essentially put a time capsule in the streets of downtown Huntsville. Um, so we also want to do like artifacts. So if we can find some cool things downtown, we'll, we'll have a, a fun communication strategy on what we find in the streets of downtown Huntsville. So we have a lot in the works. <laughs> so Morgan, uh, you know, it sounds very positive, obviously in support of the businesses, which is the most important thing. Uh, but the most, you know, one of the, the curiosities I have right now is, is what's happening with uh, patronage getting downtown? Because I know pedestrians will be allowed to get to the shops, but in terms of actually, you know, getting downtown, how is that working right now? So we, the BIA is working on a, a larger kind of parking and signage initiative to, to encourage and communicate um, pedestrian um, and parking um, in the downtown core. Um, but we, we are, you know, the, like you had mentioned, the pedestrian walkways will remain open. We, we are working with our businesses to um, encourage back entrance access. So a lot of our businesses, you know, on, along Dara Howell Way and, and working with the, the, the business beside them who potentially has access into the back, um, as well as along High Street. So we're, we're encouraging a lot of back entrance, um, um, back entrances to, to also help alleviate the pedestrian walkways. 
Um, we are working on a, a parking strategy and the, um, the Healthy Huntsville initiative, which has been an ongoing town, um, town of Huntsville and BIA partnership. Um, but that just encourages people to park further away. We have a lot of parking lots. Um, and if you're accessible, if you can park further away and walk to downtown, we, we encourage that. And we're also looking at um, encouraging our employees to park further away this year. Um, through an incentive program to alleviate parking um, and, and the congestion of, of pedestrian walkways um, for our customers as well. Fantastic. Well, lots to look forward to, obviously. Uh, Morgan, I appreciate you taking the time to chat with us today about uh, this Digging Downtown initiative. Uh, once again, if you want to just remind our viewers where they can find all the information. Yeah, so the, all of the information will be at huntsville.ca slash dig in downtown and i also just want to mention we are hosting a community information session so that is on the 18th next thursday at 6 p.m and we encourage if you have questions concerns comments um, you can submit your questions on that website huntsville.ca slash dig in downtown and then we um, between the district the town the bia uh, we will all come together and answer any concerns or questions you may have. And it is open to, to the public as well as to our business community. Awesome. Morgan Richter with the BIA. Thanks very much for taking the time today. Thank you.